Welcome to New Demo Flyer, the new Epson H501A, the Wi Fi version. Uh, thanks to this great application, you can program some waypoint submission. Enjoy some a new flight mode such as uh, the orbit flight or uh, the more advanced uh, one. So um, I already show that it's possible to bind uh, this uh, new Amazon uh, H501 with your former H501S radio, for example, and the FPV is still working in 5.8 GHz, so you can have both. So the main question I want to answer is possible, for example, to fly as a quadcopter with your radio and still enjoy the possibility to, for example, to program some weapons through the application and I'm raising some doubt that the possibility that you have both uh, simultaneously um, control, but I would test that, okay, and uh, if it's not possible, that means that you have to choose between your 2.4 gigahertz five. Uh, radio link and other control your new machine with your apps uh, I will try to perform more advanced mission planning a little bit further okay so let's go in order to bind uh, the H501A with your new or former H501S radio you have to press a photo button and keep it pressed while turning the machine then you will have a system in SLIs and you will be able to uh, fast power the machine and keep it relatively close and you can hear a beep it mean it bound okay then I uh, will wait a couple of seconds probably will ask me to perform a compass calibration so I will perform the classic try to not hide the GPS uh, okay on top I will perform future then GPS 2 now perform vertically with nose down like classically with any Epson and now it's calibrated uh, what I want to know is to select now is my frequency so I will select more one compatible with the, uh, my FPV goggle okay probably this one 5840 uh, not all frequency are available seems to be so be sure to select the right one and sometimes some you don't have any feedback you have to wait a couple of seconds but it's working at the end okay so I bound and set uh, the uh, frequency command with my FPV goggle so I will be able to turn on the machine okay and after a couple of seconds I will be able to record on my FPV goggles as well so uh, Okay, one more time you ask me to perform the compass calibration. Okay, pretty easy. And then in compass 2. And I will also turn on uh, the, um, the application. Okay, so I will be able to um, I will record. Okay, so be sure to have the uh, language set to uh, uh, English uh, American okay it's connected right so now I will be able to run the application okay I will enter for these uh, settings and try the uh, camera uh, it's uh, disconnected I will to check that everything is connected again. I will check my settings. It's connected. Should work. Yes, now as you can see, I've got the signal, no problem. And you have a small latency. Okay, so now we'll be able to record if I can on my FPV goggles okay now we boot them yes press recording okay and then I will be able to fly everything okay so um, I will check if it's possible for example to see the um, um, 
if some information are displayed, it, seems, it finds the version of the APM. I don't know if it's possible, for example, to do something else. Um, uh, for example, let's engage uh, a takeoff. I will see if it's possible. I'm not sure of it completely because now I've got the the air version. So I will press the yes. Okay, so as you can see, since it's bound with my former H501S uh, remote, I cannot control with the application, it was expected. So it means, unfortunately, you can't program some mission uh, while controlling uh, your H501 with your uh, uh, former radio. That's a problem. You have to choose between which controller you have to uh, associate. That's a problem, okay? So now, it seems that I bound with the aircraft, okay? And it need to perform an accuracy. Set is good. So now I should control with this um, with this one, but I can still see the monitor of the um, everything with the former uh, transmitter. That's great. So let's, uh, for example, perform a takeoff. Okay. Uh, why is not performing any takeoff? Disconnected. So I have to uh, maybe. Okay, it was disconnected, I don't know why, but I will press again. Okay, that's great. Okay, we'll take off. I will press recording. Yeah, recording. And as you can see, it's super stable, okay? That's great, really enjoyable. And let's perform some little control. Oh, I can it's funny I cannot I cannot turn look that it's funny because I've got the radio transmitted oh maybe I can have both <laughs> let's check that yes look that I can control with both it's very super strange I have both bound with both ra with both radio so I don't know where I want to go, but it's super surprising. Okay, so now I should stay in place, okay, because on this one I've got the return to home turned on by accident, okay. So it's super, super strange to have both control like this. It's uh, uh, pretty annoying, pretty scary but it's working how it's possible it's amazing look at that I would try to if he stay in place look, I would try why is clipping he tried to return to somewhere okay it's engaging a return to home look at that yes it's engaging a return to home by the first application, I guess. Since you lost the control of the 2.4 GHz application, this one, this smart device engage a return to home. Why I can control? Well, so definitively you have to unbound or something like this. Okay, turn off this radio, for example. Yes, it's engaging return to home. So, you know what I will do? I will, I will try to turn off this radio, okay? Now I should control everything from it, from this one. Okay. Yes, now I can control perfectly. Yes, it's a, it's a very funny. Okay, so let's, uh, for example, perform a mission planning. So, map. And, uh, okay, it's engaging some return to home in the same time. Yeah. Okay, if you want. <laughs> yes, it's engaging. Cancel, I will cancel the return to home. Okay. Uh, what I want to, 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 to perform is to... Okay, cancel. Okay, I will manage to stabilize like this. And what I want to do is to perform some... Uh, 
um, let's say map uh, how to perform uh, waypoint point oh. is still engaging a lot of often the uh, the return to home where is going I will disassemble okay I will disassemble and select the waypoint okay and I will try to draw yes something around okay so I will land okay and try to uh, to display now some um, draw okay okay so now you stop I can try to to perform delete we will delete everything yes try to zoom a little bit and if I can see correctly something like this okay and we will try to perform okay so I will stop recording here it's useless to record okay now I will return to the uh, oh, to the uh, waypoint mode uh, I delete everything stupidly so I will have to redraw okay so, oh what is it okay why uh, I assume that my position is moving still receiving up to 12 satellites okay start to converge so the um, circle blue point is my position and the uh, arrow one is the uh, orientation of your quadcopter so that's great so we will pref oh, okay. definitely waypoint we'll draw and try to draw something something like this sounds not so bad okay so I will send submit submit successfully and I will press the takeoff okay start recording okay return to the mission planning and try to be done okay So where is going? Yeah. Okay, you rotate correctly. So as you can see, the, my trajectory was very small. So my spice planning, but it's following correctly the uh, the uh, indication. Why well, you can follow the uh, on the main interface of the uh, the situation. I hope it's still recording with my 5.8 gigahertz solution. Okay, but it's working well. Okay. And it's on five, so I can press to a uh, land. Yes. And you can see no problem and auto landing working efficiently. I want it to go a little bit further, so. I don't have met. I hope the video is quite more calm. The wind is not so strong today, so we stop recording here. Okay. Okay, and I will return to the uh, mission planning. Um, delete everything. 
yes and I will return to my our local position I will draw and I will try to increase a little bit the altitude Okay, to be sure that I won't eat any any trees. Okay, like this. Okay, and then I will submit. Then I will. Um, press recording here recording I will press the takeoff great and down press down to the waypoint it should increase the situation flying beautifully huh? Okay, and now I can follow. You try to be on the first point, and then it will turn, as you can see on this. Okay, and then it will engage the uh, the small flight. I hope. Yes, I decided to go very high. Okay, it's moving, point two. Okay, I start to have a weak uh, FPV signal. It's weaker. You can see only two bars are available, but it's still working fine. Beautiful. Still shaky and a miracle with the ND filters. Okay, where I am on my trajectory. I am indecent. Seems I'm descending. Oh, I converge to. Yes, I'm going to the last point. Okay. And then I will press the um, exited. So I will press land, landing. Very beautiful. Working fine. Beautiful. I hope I'm still receiving my 